In this video, I want to talk to you about something called the sandwich theorem. This is a theorem that can be used to find the limits of functions when some of the other basic techniques you may have learned will not work. So let's first consider an analogy. Let's say that we have three dogs with one always being sandwiched between the others. And so let's say that there's a rule that says a middle dog size is always between the larger dog and the smaller dog. But one day the small dog starts to eat and the larger dog goes on a diet. And so that smaller dog gets to be the same size as the larger dog. And if our rule is to hold, that means that our middle dog has to be the same size as both the larger and the smaller dog. So there's a theorem that says almost the same thing for functions. So here's the theorem. Let f of x be between two functions, g of x and h of x, with the exception of possibly at the point x equals c, such that g of x is always less than or equal to f of x, which is always less than or equal to h of x. And also let's suppose that the limit as x goes to c of g of x is equal to the limit as x goes to c of h of x, and both of those limits are equal to l then we can conclude that the limit as x goes to c of f of x is also equal to l. So let's break this theorem down a little bit. So our conditions on the theorem are that f of x is between g of x and h of x, and that also the limit as x goes to c of g of x is equal to the limit as x goes to c of h of x. Then we can conclude that the limit as x goes to c of f of x is equal to l. So here's a picture, and if you look, you see that we have a function h, which in this case is always larger than the function f, with the exception of possibly what's happening at the point c, and g is always smaller than the, point, the function f, again with the exception of possibly at the point c. So we want to remember that, as with all limits, we never are concerned with what's happening to the functional values at the limit point C, but only what happens to those functional values as we get closer to that point C. So for each of our problems when we're using the squeeze theorem, we want to verify the conditions. And again, those conditions are that g of x is less than or equal to f of x, which is less than or equal to h of x on some interval about the limit point C and that the limit as x goes to c of g of x has to be equal to the limit as x goes to c of h of x, and those both have to be equal to L. And then our conclusion from that would be that the limit then as x goes to c of f of x has to also be equal to L. 